फर्स्ट ए ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू के जी इज प्लेस्ड ऑन ए स्मूथ ओरिजेंटल सरफेस इट मीन्स फ्रिक्शन फोर्स इज जीरो ए फोर्स ऑफ फाइव न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड इन दिस डायरेक्शन मेकिंग एंगल 30 डिग्री एंड अदर फोर्स ऑफ टू न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड इन दिस डायरेक्शन विच इज मेकिंग एन एंगल 45 डिग्री द मोशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज ओनली इन ओरिजोनटल डायरेक्शन दैट इज ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट मूविंग इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन देन If the object is displaced in the forward direction by 10 meter, displacement of the force is 10 meter. Then find the work done by first force. Let's say this is first force and this is second force. So we have to calculate the work done by the five newton force. Now work done by this force is F dot. R, which is F cos theta into R, F is 5 newton cos 30 into R, which is 10 meter. So 50 into cos 30, cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So we have 25 root 3. Joule. Now work done by work done by this force, work done by this five newton force does not depend on the work done by this two newton force. The work done by two newton force is again two cos forty five into displacement, and since displacement is in forward direction, while More, uh, the force is in backward direction so we have negative sign minus 10 2 into 1 upon root 2 into minus 10 which is minus 10 root 2 minus 14.14 because root 2 is equal to 1.414 Joule. Now the net work done by these two forces is W is equal to W1 plus W2, which is 25 into root 3 minus 14.14. This can be further solved by putting the value of root 3, which is 1.732. So by the addition of these two work done, we can calculate the total work done on this block. Another consider a block placed on a surface, and the kinetic friction mu k is 0.02. A force of 10 newton is applied, which is making an angle, let's say 60 degree, with the horizontal axis. mass of the block is 2 kg and the object is displaced from its initial position to a new position which are 6 meter apart that is displacement is 6 meter in the horizontal direction no displacement in the vertical direction then we have to calculate work done by this force So work done by this force. Let's say this is work done two. We have to calculate what this is work done one. We have to calculate work done two, which is work done by kinetic friction. 
then we have to calculate total work done and for change in kinetic energy of the block after moving through 6 meter again if initial kinetic energy or if initially object is at rest then find V which is final velocity 